Hello everyone, warm welcome to this session on uh, curing uh, periodontal disease. So now today we're going to talk about bad breath, about halitosis. So bad breath is something very frequent and there are many causes of this uh, problem. Uh, as does uh, your dentist told you about bad breath or your halitosis problem? Uh, many, many people have population, have some problems. So it is very frequent and it is very difficult to live with bad breath. So you have to do something. Why did your dentist talk to you about bad breath. I think the most difficult problem even for the dentist is how can I tell my patient he's having bad breath, okay? It's something like, uh, oh, the dentist is a little shy with this thing and cannot tell you you have bad breath, okay? So it's very difficult. So today I'm going to give you some kind of a solution how to get rid of bad breath and find a solution for this problem, okay? So the first thing is you have to know about your bad breath. So it is difficult to ask your friend, to ask your spouse, do I have bad breath? Oh, no, no. You don't know what to do. So one good trick for that is nice and easy. So what I'm going to tell you is very easy to do. So what you need is dental floss, okay? So what you need is have a dental neutral floss with no mint flavor, no nothing in it, just neutral floss you're using every day. And what you want to do is just take the floss, have nice hands, clean hands in the morning or at night. And you can use this floss normally. And what you do is you go in your mouth. If you have periodontal disease, if you want to get rid of the disease, you take the floss and you just go in between two teeth. The two teeth you think you have problems. So you can do it once, two times, three times as you like. And you can do this every day and you know about your breath, your bad breath if you have, or if you are cured, no more bad breath, okay? So what you do is take the, uh, the floss, have it, in a nice area, you think you have the problem. You go like this and just pass it in between those two teeth that may have a problem. And then what you do is you use your nose, use your smell. And the only thing you have to do is sniff, sniff your floss and see how it goes, okay? So, when you are in good health, you sniff this and it goes like one is a little rose, it's nice. Two is a little, oh, a little difficult. Three is, oh la la, oh my god. Four is, oh And if you go five, five is like, oh, lots of microbes like this in my gum okay in my periodontal disease so you only go twice and you go on the other side you go like this oh it's a one no problem with halitosis in my mouth because i have good gum healthy gum so it's fairly easy you can do this as you want it costs about nothing and every day you can see if you have good breath. So now you have to see your dentist, see your periodontist 
to get rid of periodontal disease. So now today we know we can cure this disease, we can remove those parasites, remove those white cells, <coughs> pardon, remove those bacteria, motile bacteria, pathogen bacteria, pathogen parasite, get rid of all this. But now to be cured of the disease, you have to find a dentist that know how to cure the disease. Yes, we can cure the gum disease, but the easiest way is to have a dentist with a microscope. If you have a microscope, the dentist has a microscope, <coughs> he knows what's in your gum and he can remove those bad parasites eating your white cell and red cell. Okay, so I give you a little way how to do it to prevent or to start curing your uh, disease. So the best thing, remember, I made a movie on this, how to uh, brush your teeth. So just make you a little rewind, reminding of how to do it. So you take a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and you take a little bit of it, just one cap. So you use this to brush your teeth. You add two parts of water, one, two, and then you take your brush and you go bass modified with your hand and you go like this to brush morning and night during treatment. So use the brush, 45 degree, just a little motion and go roll, 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 roll four times. You do that inside, outside, four times, four times, four times. That's okay, that's how you brush. And you can use Torrens powder too. So Torrens powder, you make it. It's easy with baking soda and salt. Baking soda, six person, one person of salt, normal salt. You just put this in a little glass and you put it on your gum with your wet finger. You put a little bit of this powder, turns powder. You just add it a little bit on your gum line and you let it work for 15 minutes. So watch if you cannot have salt because this is salt, okay? And you spit the excess. You spit the excess and you do this morning and night during treatment. But always see your dentist, make sure there's no problem with the salt. And sometimes during the week, once a week, because this hydrogen peroxide will not remove stain on your teeth. So once a week, I do a little, uh, a little mix like this uh, hydrogen peroxide, 1.5%. I just put a little cup of it and with the powder, I just mix it and I have great pleasure because this one is nice and I can remove the stain. I remove the stain in the same time. So I mix it to brush my teeth once a week. So to remove the stain and I spit the excess. Okay, and then you can wait 15 minutes so it goes into your gum and it kills the parasite. So remember, there is possibility to cure the gum disease. You can get rid of halitosis, but remove those parasites. So remember, when you have gum disease, it's full of parasites like this into your gum and white cell, this is pus, this is parasite and pus. And those parasites, many like trichomonas or atamoeba, they have like a cadaverin, cadaverin, uh, putrescine and cadaverin odor. So it's not good. So get rid of this salt and baking soda, hydrogen peroxide will make those disappear. So you go with this for some months and remember when you cured, you only have nice little bacteria like this with epithelial cells, cells from the gum. This is health 
And this one is periodontal disease with bad parasite. So take care, take good habit, and do the breath halitosis test every day and you know how it is. So thank you very much and take care and have good health and good gum health. Okay, bye bye.